I think one of the biggest miracles i think the thing that really shows that god is almighty and all powerful to me is the miracle of transformation where you can see a person that was suffering from mental illnesses that was literally degenerating um in like mentally physically all forms you know someone that could not hold um could not have social relationships the one someone that could not even align with society and then through the power of christ they become people that lead other people hello i am bernice dowda i'm the host of this podcast honey and milk podcast where we speak about the bible jesus our life experiences in order for us to know christ better and to become more like christ every day if you are here for the first time welcome please do get comfortable and don't forget to subscribe so that you can see more videos as it comes out and feel free to look at all the other videos that we've done as well other episodes um if you're returning it is so nice to see you feel free to leave a like below so that i can know that you're here with me participating and thank you so much for it already in advance um today i'm not really going to be saying a lot this is actually going to be a very very short episode with what's like how i plan it to be because the topic i was meant to do today (laughs) i sat down to do a bible study of it and it expanded way more than i anticipated and i even became overwhelmed with everything and I decided to ask God, I was like, God, I need like a little bit more time to process this. And this has already been a few days since I knew what was going to what it was going to be about. I started studying on it, started reading on it. But it's like the more I entered it, the more the more it became. So I felt like I would do a disservice to you guys if I just come and I half ass it because it, I feel like it's a very important topic and it's a lot of things that even I myself am learning. So because I'm just learning it, I want to be able to digest it well in order for me to um, speak about it. Yeah. And if you're curious to know, stay tuned for the upcoming weeks yes for the upcoming weeks and it will be out so let me just skip right to what we're actually going to do today so i just wanted to give you guys an update on why this episode is going to be short seeing that we just like the last two episodes were like an hour each (laughs) yeah so today i'm just here to encourage you guys um i i i i think i'm able to say this today because it's something that the Holy Spirit did for me early on today. I was just going through my um, gallery, my pictures. I was seeing years back where um, I was not with the Lord fully. Like I knew of him and there was some parts of me that acknowledged him because I would come across write-ups and I was just be marvel because i was I, I i sat down thinking like i already understood the sovereignty of god but i had not fully dedicated my life to him yet and i hadn't fully like that work that god was doing in me he was just slowly chipping away the things that i i allowed and the things that i settled with and so it it was very beautiful to see and um it led me to philippines 1 6 that says being confident of this that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of christ jesus so i'm just here to encourage you that if you are on a journey with christ and you feel like it's taking longer than you expected or if you feel i don't know i feel like it's if you're just living life and you haven't fully surrendered to god yet or if you 
are on the journey and you're like this is taking everything away from me and I don't know what to do anymore I'm just here to basically encourage you that this journey will it will be perfected you will get to the end of the race I I definitely know that that end the final end of the race is not in this life it's going to be in the next life um, but I want to just tell you that you are on the right track every single day that you wake up and you stand up and you decide to do it again with God and you decide to allow him work in your life I can tell you that he is doing a great work in you he is completing and remodeling you he is taking away the things that you don't need he is he's doing an amazing work on you and that's what I'm just here to encourage you with and there might be some snares that's what it's called in um, some yeah I'm distracting myself right now but there might be some snares and snares is like traps there might be some habits some addictions some things that are making you tethered to the old man and to your old life and it's not easy for you to let go of these things and enter and surrender fully to God and to the life that he has for you and I just want to tell you that keep on keep on taking every day with Christ wake up I'm I'm telling you <laughs> it's I, I don't think it's a it's it's um it's an advice that might not be allowed in some certain Christian circles and churches some might tell you okay you know stand up cut it off you know get it out and all that you know clean yourself before you come to God but I want to just advise you that if you're still struggling with some things if you do not feel like you are where God wants you to be at I want to encourage you to take one day with God even if you just slept with someone even if you just took that um, high like you just got high even if you just stole even if you just lied even if you just did something that is not who God has called you to be I want you to wake up the next morning or rather in fact the next morning is even too long I don't want you to wait I want you to stand up immediately and once you have recognized that you've gone wrong once you have recognized that you've done something wrong come back to God and tell him like Lord I feel your conviction on my heart I know what I did was wrong I apologize but I'm going to need help with this this is something that I have not fully let go of and I'm not going to run away from you and try to fix it by myself because that's exactly what the enemy wants me to do because I have no because I have no strength of my own to be able to fight this stuff off so I'm coming back to you because I know you have the strength and you can help me to do this so I want you to take every day with God I want you to walk with God in every moment that you have every available moment let's say in a day you have 24 hours you eat you sleep of that eight you sleep of that 24 hours eight hours like a full eight hours rest and then let's say you take two hours for the times you need to eat so um breakfast lunch and dinner if you were to take 30 minutes 30 minutes um an hour then that's a summation of two hours then maybe transport like if you're going somewhere moving up and down you take another two hours I want you to take every moment, every time that you can have a moment of peace, every time that you can be conscious of the spirit of God and the and of Christ and what he wants you to be, every moment of your day that you can have that time to be conscious, I want you to use that time to come back to God. I want you to use that time to come back to Christ. So it doesn't matter what you have done, even five minutes before, come back again come back tell him apologize realize it recognize it recognize it apologize for it and ask for help 
to overcome it i'm not it might even come back the exact name like maybe after you do that it might come back again the next minute don't waste another time dwelling on that stand up again and ask god again and continue on and continue on and continue on because you will get to a time that it will break off and you would be very surprised and i i also feel like for me personally it's like there were some major parts of my life that were like a 180 degree change and there were some that were very sub subtle that it's now that i'm looking back that i'm like wow <laughs> that's a huge change there are desires that have been taken away there are some things that i used to want that i don't want anymore and it was like a gradual process it was a gradual thing with god so i'm just here to encourage you that he has as long as you have decided to follow christ as long as you have decided to do it his way as long as you have decided to know him more and more you have to keep investing in that relationship with jesus the more you do that it doesn't matter where you are it doesn't matter what you're doing he will perfect he will perfect that work that he has started in you and it would be beautiful and i think that's one of the greatest miracles um i know we i know there are many miracles of healings um provision and so uh, and so on and so forth but i think one of the biggest miracles i think the thing that really shows that god is almighty and all powerful to me is the miracle of transformation where you can see a person that was suffering from mental illnesses that was literally degenerating um in like mentally physically all forms you know someone that could not hold um could not have social relationships the one someone that could not even align with society and then through the power of christ they become people that lead other people so it's not only that they have they now gain the ability to have relationships and join society but then they are now further transformed to be people that can lead other people to being better versions of themselves i think that is one of the biggest biggest signs and wonders of god to me because it's it's one thing to provide something it's one thing to heal someone but to change a person and to change a person in that the the, the core of that person doesn't go away you know there are some certain traits and characteristics and personalities that God has given us. He doesn't take that away because he he's the one that gave that uniqueness, but rather he will transform everything around that person to beautify to 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 make that person the more excellent, more better version of themselves. And that is that will always blow my mind because there's nobody that can tell me that it's not god it's not it's not an easy thing for um for someone that maybe has a loved one that you have tried everything for them to be a better version of themselves it is it is very hard for you to change someone it is very very hard it doesn't matter how good your intentions are it doesn't matter how fantastic you are we talk uh, it does not matter whatsoever if the person does not want to meet with you that's it you cannot change a person but yet god has the ability to take what someone has surrendered and guide them through the process of transforming them making them perfect as he wants like has as he designed us to be you know so that's my encouragement to you and i pray i pray that this journey that you have started with christ and if there's anybody that has not decided to to start this journey to start this path um there is a verse that says that the path of the righteous is like a shining light 
it shines brighter and brighter onto the perfect day so as you, your walk with christ will always become brighter and brighter i do not i'm not saying that's going to be easy but it is going to be brighter it is going to be better than you could have ever imagined it and i say that because i look at my life as it is now and five years ago if you had told me that i'd be where i am right now i wouldn't have believed it um but <laughs> here i am <laughs> but here i am and I want to encourage you to start that journey with Christ, to start that path with Christ, because he's the answer to the questions that you have. If you have questions of um, who am I, you know, why am I on this earth? What use is my life? You know, what is the truth? You know, can I ever understand how this world works? It all points to one answer that is found in Jesus. Everything is found in Jesus. All the questions that you have is found in Jesus because he is the truth. He is the way. He is the life. He is the truth. And yeah. <laughs> and yeah, so I really encourage you to start that journey. And I want to lead you to the start of that journey right now. And then afterwards, I'll pray for us all together that are on that journey and i'll say goodbye so for those that are willing to start this journey with christ just um i join faith with you and i pray with you i want you to declare that um heavenly father i come before you as i am right now i have no strength of my own i have no knowledge of my own without you I accept you as my sovereign God. I accept your son Jesus, Jesus Christ, who you sent out of your love onto the earth to die and to be resurrected, to be the firstborn of all those who will be called children of God. I accept him as my Lord. I accept him as my savior. And of this day, I thank you because you have taken away the old me and have given unto me a new person, a new spirit, a new heart, a clean heart, a heart that obeys you, a heart that desires what you desire, a heart that wants to love and know you more and more every day. Thank you, Heavenly Father take my hand as i walk with you on this path now and forevermore amen amen and huge congratulations welcome to the family of christ welcome to the beginning of your path with um your path with christ and your path as a righteous man and now i want to pray for everybody that is on that path um yes Heavenly Father, I pray over each and every person that is relying on you. I pray over each and every person that you are doing a work in them right now, God. I pray over each and every person that is set on the path of following you, Jesus, of walking with you, oh God. Father Lord, I pray that they always remember that you are beside them. You cover them, you lead them, you support them, you protect them, oh God. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because I know the work that you have started in us, you will perfect unto that perfect day. We love you, we honor you, we worship you, now and forevermore, oh Lord. Amen. All right, guys that's all from me <laughs> have a nice week weekend any i don't know wherever whatever day you're on have a nice um day um and i will see you next week hopefully by then <laughs> the holy spirit will have helped me to wrap my head around this this what this topic all right 
so yeah you can find me on instagram at honey and milk podcast you can leave me an email at hi.b at honey and milk.org um if you have started your journey with christ if you started your journey with christ with this video please leave a comment below or send me a message or an email and we'll have the ability and the opportunity to talk more and um if you have any questions always feel free don't forget to share don't forget to like don't forget to comment subscribe and i'll see you guys next week <laughs> bye love you